<laughs> okay. Whether cooking in your RV is a necessary evil or a creative interlude that brings you joy, we can show you some ways to make your RV kitchen more inviting and more efficient. If cooking's your thing, our list of gadgets and accessories for the galley might just make your next meal prep even more fun. And if cooking's not your jam, see what I did there, jam cookie. Stay with us anyway, because we can show you some gizmos and goodies that at least might make it less of a chore. Unless you're the proud owner of some beast of an RV, chances are pretty good, like us, you're always looking for ways to make the limited space in your galley work better. And right at the top of our hit list is this Camco stovetop cover. Now, granted, our trailer is smaller than most, but this one easy thing roughly doubled our counter space. Bam! It comes with rubber feet that you can attach to custom fit it to your stovetop. But we just went with the non-slide shelf liner on the back of ours, and it sits nicely on the stove, even when in transit. And it can be moved around to sit next to the stove, or it can be used as a sink cover. And speaking of sink covers, many newer RVs come with sink covers, but if yours didn't, that's a must add. Ours did, and it's really nice, but it does have one downside. When it's in place, we can't access either sink. We found the solution to that was to use this cutting board, which fits nicely over either sink, but leaves the other sink accessible. Kind of a best of both worlds thing, we think. With the sink cover and the stove cover in place, we actually have a decent amount of counter space. And here, let me show you this one more trick. We added this counter extension, also by Camco, by the way, in our bathroom. It didn't really work in our galley because of the way the counter is configured, but you can see here how it adds an extra 12 inches to this counter. Now, to give RV manufacturers a little credit, they're always trying to give us as much storage as possible. It's a big selling point for sure, but sometimes that results in some deep, dark spaces. Our trailer, for instance, actually has a pretty generous pantry for a rig this size. But honestly, those shelves, as they came from the factory, are functionally only half usable. Put stuff in the front and you can't see what's in the back. We found a great solution though in these sliding baskets. We did have to search a bit to find units that were sized to make the best possible use of this space, but installing these was a game changer. Now for those spaces that aren't as deep but may be tall, wire shelf racks will definitely help use cabinet space more efficiently. Again, you have to look around for the ones that are the right size for your RV's cabinets, but they will make reaching for things more of a one-handed task. And to keep all that stuff from shifting while traveling and falling out on the floor when you get into camp, these small adjustable tension rods are really handy. They're adjustable to most cabinets, are easy to remove when you get to camp, and just as easy to replace when you're getting ready to hit the road. The brown ones are nice for the cabinets, but we also have white ones that are a nice fit for the fridge. Also, along the lines of making the best possible use of every cubic inch, anything collapsible is good. Thanks to the amazing sciences of silicone and plastics, you can get all kinds of collapsible utensils for your kitchen. These measuring cups are super cool. They can be slipped into a drawer rather than having to occupy valuable cabinet space. And here are some collapsible bowls, a colander, and the coolest collapsible dish drainer. They all fit into the space that used to be taken up by a standard dish drainer. And giving collapsible stuff a run for its money are things that nest. We haven't gotten around to sourcing large collapsible bowls, partly because they're a little bit pricey, but also because these nesting mixing bowls are almost as good. This set of magma cookware, including a five quart stock pot, two quart saucepan, and a 10 inch frying pan, all nest into the footprint of the frying pan. 
together with this nice set of lodge cast iron, we get about three times the cookware into the same space our mismatched set of pots and pans used to fill. Now let's talk gadgets. I love gadgets, and I've probably never seen a gadget I didn't like, but multi-use gadgets, handheld immersion blenders, for example, are the best. From soups to chopping nuts, immersion blenders are endlessly useful in any kitchen and because of their compactness are particularly suited for the RV. Ours has a number of attachments that we use to chop and blend garlic and garbanzos for hummus and maybe the occasional breakfast smoothie. So yeah, we like to cook. What could be better than goodies and gadgets for the galley? Clearly the drinks and dining, of course. <laughs> Cheers to that. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave your comments below. We'd love to hear what you think of our videos.